Welcome to Bariga, the most beautiful and richest community in Lagos State, Nigeria. This is where I live with many other children like me. I am Moses and I am 15 years old. But I have traveled to more than 10 countries in Europe. As this girl from Johnny should be fresh person. Take bus, make it come to the city. Surprise! Let me show you how that was possible. Come. For children like me in this area, this place has become our home. It is called the Seaside Cottage Theatre. I used to be a stubborn boy. Then before I joined the theatre group, um, I was a fighter, I was a gambler, I, I do a lot of things that are bad. And you know, in my street, they know me as uh, Moses number one, don't try him. In the sense that they will even take me to different streets to go and be beating people that are older than me. And, <laughs> and now for dance, dance has transformed my life. It has helped me change a lot of things. My parents never wanted me to be a dancer because they think dancers are people who doesn't have future, who doesn't want to, who doesn't have anything to do in life. And for me, I think dance for me is just, a, like dance is a word on its own and a world where you see many creative mindsets. I joined the Footsmith of David Arts Academy in 2014 when I was eight years old. Dance has taken me to a lot of places in Europe. I've been to France, I've been to Germany, I've been to Switzerland, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Turkey. I've performed for the President of France, Emmanuel Macron, and President of Germany, Gachen Gwak, when he came to Nigeria, and different countries. The thing I love the most in the countries I've been to is the environment, um, their manner of approach, and the love they generate, their vibes, just everything, everything, except their food, because <laughs> their food is, their food is tough out. It's not like when I'm eating a bar and a goosey. Since I've joined the footprint of David, I've been able to get myself in a better position. I've been able to think smart. I've been able to be bold. I've been able to be strong. I've been able to be smart. Our first trip to Europe started after our experience at one international dance theater competition. Yeah, so we were privileged to win. And um, we won the award of the best student theater in Africa. Then um, a friend, from Germany, from a theater company reached out to us for a collaboration, and boom, that's how the tour started. So I started Footprints of David Arts Academy in 2005 to actually use art, dance especially, as a tool to, you know, revive the kids in my community. You know, um, I mean, something to distract them away from the social vices. You know, and. Um, my own experience also growing up as a child, I was raised by my foster parents and um, my experience wasn't that you know, palatable. So I decided to use this approach to prevent those kids not to go that route. You know? And that's why Footprint is using art as a tool for community development. Right from when I was a kid, I loved dancing and that's what I'm doing right now. In the future, I want to become a dance philanthropist. With the children of Seaside Cottage Theatre, we've been able to succeed in our academics here in Lagos State, Nigeria, and in Africa as a whole. We might be from Bariga, a dirty, poor community, but we are ready to take over the world. 